Hi, I'm Tim Fox, and I'm here to talk to you today about Big DL. And this is going to be a video three of a four part series in training in, in Big DL. Today, we're going to be talking about transfer learning for image classification in Big DL. Now, I hope you've already seen my uh, earlier examples on how to install and run Big DL on using the Docker container as well as using the VM. And then also uh, my examples on feed for old neural networks in Big DL. Little about me, I'm a data engineering and data science practitioner and a partner and principal at Elephant Scale. At Elephant Scale, we do training in big data, AI, deep learning, and machine learning. And I'm an author of Data Science in Python on LinkedIn Learning and an open source contributor to projects such as Big DL. So now, actually, we're going to do a, a little bit more interesting example. And so in this case, we're going to be uh, using a transfer learning from an ImageNet model. And we're going to be using that for image classification using Big DL. Now, you can refer to the URLs here for getting uh, Big DL itself as well as the tutorials that we're going to do here. So one thing about uh, this example is that it's a bit more involved both in terms of complexity as well as in terms of uh, processing power required than earlier examples. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go and get a Amazon EC2 instance that will have enough horsepower to complete what I'm trying to do. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead to AWS here and I'm going to get a Ubuntu image. let's get something that has enough horsepower to really do what I need to do. So we'll go and get a um, M4 2x large in this case. That's going to give us 8 vCPUs, 32 GB of RAM. So, you know, not going to be huge, but hopefully you're going to have enough power that we're able to, uh, to run this. Now, I could actually try to run with a cluster. However, in this case, I'm just going to try to run it on a still on a single node, just a bigger node than what I may have available uh, on my desktop. I'll give myself 100 GB of storage and root. Now I'm going to get a security group here that is going to open up the normal ports, port 80, 8088 of, and most importantly, port 22, so I can make sure I can log into that. Okay, and I'm going to give it a key pair that I have. Go ahead and launch that. Okay, so here's my public IP. Let's go ahead and log into our instance. Okay, so we need to install several things. Um, most importantly, we need to install Docker. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have Docker, we need to go ahead and run this. So now it's time to go and get our repository here.
Okay, so let's go ahead and um, we'll log in. Okay, so now I should be able to uh, go to and we'll run big DL Docker. All right, so now we have Big DL running in our Docker container on our new AWS system, and we're all ready to proceed to running our example. Okay, so we have Docker currently running now. What we're gonna do is we're going to run our example. Let us go to the correct directory here, and we'll go to scripts. Okay, so, First, what we need to do is we need to get the sample images. I'm gonna refer you to the documentation here to get this on your own. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and demonstrate that you are going to need to, um, to, to download that. And once you get that file as a zip file, you will go and put that in the sample images directory. Okay, so once you have the sample images downloaded, now it's time to go ahead and run our script. So let's run go over what we're gonna have. So this is gonna be for transfer learning. So we have a script here called run transfer. So let's take a look at what we have. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set our big DL home here, which is in a sir local big DL. Um, and we're going to actually already have that here. So that's good. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my other variables here, it looks good. Now, one thing that I did here is I'm going to get my driver memory to be 16 GB because um, that'll help run this in a reasonable period of time. And it's gonna run our script inception transfer.py. Okay. All right, let's look at that then. We have our, um, we're gonna run inception transfer.py. So let's see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna be using this flowers data set here. So what the flowers data set here, let me just review that really quick. That's in the sample images. And so we've set up in the, here some flower photos. And you can see here that we have photos under five directories, daisy, dandelion, roses, sunflowers, and tulips. And so what we're gonna do is, is that these are each gonna be interpreted as a labels. And then within each directory, we have a bunch of images. Okay, we've actually divided the same photos up into test, training, and validation. And so, as you can see here, if we go to test, we have quite a bit fewer images, just a couple there, and so under each one. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to run the inception transfer learning. So, what does it mean to be transfer learning? Well. What we're going to do is we are going to use the ImageNet pre-trained model to, to start with. In order to do that, we have to have ImageNet model already there. And so, what we're going to what we're going to actually do is uh, we're going to go ahead and download the BVLC Google Net Cafe model and BVLC Google Net Prototext. Those are uh, standard Google Cafe model that we're going to import into our model. So we're gonna run that. Now, um, to get the, the URL for that, go ahead and refer to the script because when, when you get that, that'll have the proper URL that you can get. Okay, so um, now that we have that, what we're gonna do is um, we are going to, we have a couple few helper functions here that are gonna be, help us load these things. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to define our layers here. Notice here that we have our spatial convolution layer with ReLU activation here. And um, we have a convolution uh, layer one here, another convolutional layer here, another convolutional layer, a, a pooling layer. And this is for the convolutional model that we're doing here. Okay, now we're ultimately going to be um, instantiating that in this no ox classifier here. And you can see here that we have more spatial convolutional layers. And then as we define that, 
we're going to add in some more layers here. So um, you can see the layers here. Okay, now we're not gonna be starting our training from scratch by any means. What we're gonna do first too is we're gonna load our data. We're gonna instantiate our model that we just saw. There's five classes. Uh, no surprise there, remember there were five different kinds of flowers. And here is our pre-trained cafe model that we're gonna start with, Google Net ImageNet. Okay, so what we're gonna call is we're gonna call load cafe, which is going to import that model into Big DL. Okay, so once we do that, we're then going to load our data here and we're gonna put it in the correct format. One thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a little bit of transformation. We're going to make all the images to have uh, this size, 224. And so we're gonna put in a transformer in order to crop the image there. Always a good idea to, to crop so we know we're getting to apples to apples kind of um, images, or we should say in this case, maybe roses to roses. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna run through a few, uh, the first 20 images to be exact. And we're going to try predicting that. Now, this is before training, so we're not likely to get too good of results, but we're just gonna see what ImageNet gives us here. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to a uh, tr uh, tra uh, initial transformation. What we're gonna do here though, is we're going to um, go ahead and train a model. So here is where we're gonna start training. First of all, we're going to load in and get our training data. And we're gonna apply the labels according to the names of the directory. In this case, that's gonna be one through five. Remember that Big DL likes to have labels that are numeric starting with one. So then we're gonna call optimize here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to call optimize here on our data. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in our training data. Okay, so once we have a trained model, that'll take a little while, then we're going to go and get our results. We're gonna run our test data to do the same transformers for our test. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get predictions. And at the end of the day, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see our results here, uh, which we're going to see. So we should see an accuracy of about 80% is what I believe we were getting, which is, not bad considering that we have five different classes. So let's go ahead and we will give that a try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the transfer script here. And what I'm gonna also do is just to remove some clutter, I'm gonna ignore all the info and just look at um, the results. Let me go ahead and get this started. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pause the video and come back because it will take uh, some time, probably about 30 minutes or so. We ran the final result here, and in this case, it was about 70% um, accuracy. That's what we have, and we can look at the uh, results there. So let's go ahead and review what we have then. We have our Google Net Cafe model that we loaded. We did a corpus here of flower photos and we went and trained a model there of uh, doing a classification of five classes there on the flowers, photos. And then we trained a model and went ahead and ran uh, training and then test and got uh, the accuracy numbers from that. Uh, we could then take this model and we can go ahead and apply it to do classification for any of our Spark uh, uh, data that we'd like to do based on uh, image classification. That's all for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and you're able to do image classification tasks. We will have another video in this series um, and I look forward to joining you with that again. Thank you very much.